Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you fabulous summer flowers in an easy design to create for your home or for a friend. For the vessel, just a grand vase that I found. And then so much comment is going into, should I use foam? Should I use floral netting? That sometimes we forget that just plain old water with a weave technique is fabulous. So I just filled it with fresh water, with flower food, and then I gathered my flowers. So many fabulous things from Charles Little and Company Farms, which we have students working there, so give them a shout out. We've got some Nadia, it's in the Scabiosa family. Some freesia from the Peter Court Farms. So again, Oregon products. Some lovely, delicate eucalyptus, lamb's ear, ranunculus, salvia, and Toulouse Lautrec garden roses. So much fabulous color, split complementary. Can't wait to get started. When you're working with a bold color harmony, it's nice to give the eyes a resting point. So that's why I chose to work with the blue-green foliages. They're softer, grayed down. And I place those first, giving it a cut, and then just placing it right in. Starting on the lower portion of the vase, letting it drape over the sides, and then I'll work inward. The lamb's ear, this is also from Charles Little. rid of the side shoots, placing it in. And by radiating around from side to side, weaving the stems, creating a solid binding point, everything will be supported naturally with the foliage. As I place my flowers, I want to remove anything that's low, below the water line, making sure that it's just a nice bare stem. The salvia is so gorgeous, it drapes out nicely. Placing it on the outer edges first, just as I did with the foliage. That way as I work, each stem is building a supporting network for the next stem. And you actually fill in the center then, very last. Just stripping down the sides, placing it in. You can mix blossoms, maybe going with some of the freesia. giving it a cut, and then angling it towards the center. And again, working at the lower edges. Now the freesia is so fabulous. It has these great buds as well. Go ahead and tuck those in. They give nice movement to the design, make it look so delicate. Radiating around, continuing always stripping the edges, and then going from the sides and the bottom first. Now the vibrant yellow of the toulouse lautrec Garden Rose. Removing the thorns a bit so that they don't catch onto the leaves, and then placing it down, feeding it into the weave. You want that one a little bit shorter, tucked down in. There we go. Coming across. Then the beautiful Nadia, the Scabiosa pincushion family, letting it dance over the top. So delicate. It's delicate, I say, but the stems are strong and sturdy, so I can just feed it right down in. I'm going to separate those two so that I can get that to go exactly where I want it. Letting that one come up. And then this one beside it, because as it was squishing in, it was making it go into a different area than I wanted. Then I could add a few more buds and another bloom and some more roses, getting a delicate play over the top of the bouquet. To finish, just a tiny bit of the eucalyptus, bringing it up towards the top carrying that color and texture from the bottom up into the design, tucking it between the blooms, sliding it in. And then I have two absolutely exquisite ranunculus, also from Peter Court. And taking those, placing them down close to the center will add an accent to the design. 
Designing with summer flowers and summer brights is so much fun. I hope you have the opportunity to go out and gather fabulous local products, maybe even from your own garden, and then create a way. Sit down and enjoy it with a tall glass of lemonade. For more creative inspiration, you can find us at the website, flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, you can reach us there. And also, you can pick up the telephone and give me a call, 503-223-8089. And I'd love to see what you create. Take a photo, send it to my personal email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com, or even better, post it on social media and tag Floral Design Institute so we all can see. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.